28 seconds. ECS reduced for launch. Roger. 25. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go Aft Space 11. T minus, T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. We have ignition. 2, 1, and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket with Aft Space 11 from the United States Air Force. Across all five SRPs. PU's gone to closed loop control. Now passing 20 seconds into flight. Continue to see good pump speeds and injector pressures on the RD-180. 30 seconds in. And vehicle's now passing Mach 1. SRB chamber pressure continues to look good across all five SRBs. You are hearing the now voice passing of Max Q, maximum dynamic launch pressure. vehicle ascent data. And pump speeds and injector pressures on the RD-180 continue to look good. Uh, SRB chamber pressure is also looking good. Now passing one minute into flight. And the launch vehicle is now nine, um, correction, 11 miles in altitude, seven miles downrange distance, traveling at 2,300 miles per hour. One minute, 15 seconds into flight. And we should be expecting SRB burnout momentarily. Chamber pressures on the SRB is tailing off. And we have burnout on all five SRBs. One minute, 40 seconds into flight. RD-180. Pump speeds and injector pressures look good in uh, full thrust mode. And we have good jettison of all five SRBs. Vehicle's gone to closed loop guidance. <clears throat> now passing two minutes into flight, Mach 5. And pump speeds and injector pressures on the RD-180 continue to look good. Vehicle is now 40 miles in altitude, 55 miles downrange distance, traveling at 4,900 miles per hour. And now passing two minutes, 30 seconds into flight, approximately two minutes remaining in the Atlas booster phase of flight. And the RD-180 is now throttling down to maintain a constant 2.5G acceleration limit. Engine response and vehicle acceleration response looks good. And the RCS pyro valve is unfired. Reaction control system is now pressurizing the flight levels. Now passing three minutes into flight. And seeing a good response on the RD-180 pump speeds and injector pressures as a Vehicle throttles down to maintain that acceleration limit. And we're standing by for payload fairing jettison momentarily. And we have good indication of payload fairing jettison. And we have good indication of CFLR jettison. And the vehicle is now throttling back up to full thrust. Uh, RD-180 response looks good. And now passing four minutes into flight. And the RD-180 is now throttling to maintain a 4.6 G acceleration limit. And the Centaur has begun the boost phase chill down sequence. Pump speeds and injector pressures on the RD-180 continue to look good. Vehicle is now 90 miles in altitude, 328 miles downrange distance, traveling at 12,000, correction, 13,000 miles per hour. 
and standing by for BECO momentarily. And we have BECO boost turned and cut off, standing by for stage separation. And we have good indication of stage separation. We have pre-start on the RL-10. And we have ignition on the RL-10. This is Atlas Mission Control at T plus five minutes.